What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads. And if you can see here, I'm clearly in a different environment. I am home for spring break, so this is what we have to work with now. We are discussing a Flyers-Bruins game, and I just can't believe it. This is starting to piss me off. We are at the point now where we have to get these points. It's not about the moral victories anymore. Now, before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to, because I enjoy speaking with you guys. And we blow another one. We had an opportunity to get a point, and with 22 seconds left, this Flyer squad de decides to to watch two Boston Bruins players around the blue paint, and Marshawn scores a, a game-winning goal with 22 seconds left, and I was pissed. The Flyers lose on a score of 3-2. to two. And here's another game where I didn't think the team played that bad. I really didn't. But at this point of the season, I said the same thing about this Philadelphia Flyers squad when they played the Penguins of, uh, two nights ago. It doesn't matter anymore about how well you played. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, where we are right now, you need points. You need points. It doesn't matter. So we end up giving the nod to Lyon. And I'll be honest with you. I thought he played great. He looked comfortable. He looked positioned. He looked like he was ready to play this game. And I thought he played very well. I think he looked a little bit more comfortable than Mrazic has in the last few days. I'll be honest with you. If I'm Dave Haxtell, I'm giving the nod to Lyon against the Winnipeg Jets. I don't care. He looked way more comfortable then Mrazic has. Matt Reed gets the nod tonight. He's got four games this in this season. Matt Reed gets the nod? Let's dissect the game. Four minutes in, Wayne Simmons, how do you do? Gets a nice little chunk of his lip chopped off there. And he gets a four-minute penalty for the Fly Guys. He didn't get the penalty. Someone high-sticked him. It was a little welcome back from your injury. So the Flyers get a four-minute power play to start the game. And this is when Nolan Patrick is net front, which he has been playing so fantastic net front, taking Wayne Simmons' job. Not really, but he looks fantastic. And he puts a, a backhand through the legs pass to Jake Voracek, back door. Who's your daddy? one nothing Fly, guys. It was great. It was a fantastic start. I love the way Nolan Patrick is playing. I do. He has been playing so well. He's been very comfortable, and it's perfect. Second overall pick in the draft. This is what you need out of him. That goal was assisted by Claude Giroux as well. And then Riley Nash, about eight minutes later, finds a greasy goal. The Flyers were kind of running around a little bit in the D zone. There was so many bodies in front, and they, they find a way. And one-to-one, -one, they tied the game, and... Whatever. So things are going to happen. You're going to make mistakes. This decor, though, is kind of pissing me off. Okay? There were times where Gudis is fumbling the puck. He's, I don't know what's going on over there. He brings a physical presence, though, along with Haig. And then you have the Andy McDonald line. I had no words. I had no words. We have some D down at the AHL level that deserve a call-up. Sandheim. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. So, how about this? 25 seconds left in the first period. We're going to let up a breakaway to Brian Gianta, who doesn't make a fantastic move, but he goes backhand and he scores. Takes a 2-1 to one lead. That, no. 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 That can't happen. Are you kidding me? But, in our defense, Wayne Simmons joins the rush, gets tripped, clearly clearly gets tripped, which leads to that opportunity. Now, he's obviously a forward, so I don't know where the D were in that situation, but there should have been a penalty called without a doubt. So we move on to the second period, and the Flyers get a break because on the power play for the Bruins, Laterra is in the corner with Marshan, and he, and he gives him a little bit of a hold, a little bit of a hook, turns the puck over, and then Philpula and Laterra make a nice little play. Laterra scores to make it his third of the year, shorthanded, assisted by Gudis and Philpula. So we tie the game up. So, you know what? They score on a breakaway from a call that wasn't called. And then the Flyers get an opportunity to tie the game and then buried it. So, there you go. 2-2, two to two, 
going into the third period. I thought opportunities were there for the Flyers in the third. Same with the Bruins. Listen, this is my thing. People are saying, oh, we're going through a stretch of playing playoff teams. It's okay. Who are you going to play in the playoffs? These teams. So you have to find a way to win these games. And we're not playing bad hockey, which makes me a little bit more optimistic. I'm not dying yet because we're in these games. We need to clean it up, though. There's there's times we need to score when we have all these chances. But you're right. These are the teams we're going to have to play in the playoffs, so there's no excuse. We need to beat these teams. We need to beat these teams because in the third, lots of opportunities happened. I thought the third period, we kind of got worked a little bit, especially the first 10, but we made pushes. We had chances, and we couldn't bury. And then with 22 seconds left in the game, you had Sean Couturier, who was your best defensive forward, and you have Shane Gossespierre in the blue paint with his back turned to Marshawn, who ends up tapping in the goal late. And, you know, there, there's no there's no doubt that that could have been stopped from those two players. I mean, why is Sean Couturier not picking up sticks? Shane Gossespierre, why are you not picking up sticks? I just wa- or just read an article on Shane Gossespierre how even though he's having one of the best offensive years of his career, his defense is also been picked up. It's just minor things. It's minor things, and we need to clean them up. We have a huge game against Winnipeg. I am not saying it's over yet but I'm a little nervous I'll just say that I I still believe but this is not the time to lose five and one point last night could have changed my whole entire outlook 22 seconds seriously now the Devils lose to the Jets which is huge they keep losing as well looking at the standings Penguins 82 Caps 81 Fly Guys 79 and the Devils have 76 right below us Ay, ay, ay. Columbus is right behind them with 75, and we see them in the future. Winnipeg, Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Huge. Huge. So with that being said, obviously devastating loss. Fly guys need to figure it out. I still believe, though. I still believe. Thank you so much for listening. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to. I enjoy speaking with you guys. I will see you next time.